mainly KK, a China and Japan based mobile software company. In 2005, he founded yet another company called Movitech Technologies, which is now known as Technovite Lab Private Limited. He provides consultancy to startups and companies in mobile, e commerce, and gaming industry. He has also authored a book, a bestseller named Gaming Programming in C and C. But perhaps his greatest achievement is that he is among the few members who have beaten the world chess champion Vishwanathan Anand at a corporate chess event. Ladies and gentlemen, please join us with Mr. Sri Kosen. We now request the student volunteer to welcome Mr. Sumit with a bouquet. Over to you, sir. concept with motivation for entrepreneurs. So you have to find the motivation within you. It has physical as well as mental triggers. All right. This has to be discovered. How do you do that? Whenever you want, you know, some kind of a concept where you want to spend, you know, a lot of your time on, which you feel this is something I want to do. You need to walk and you need to experience that uh, concept in the field. So walk and visit is my way of doing it. It's just, you know, they say we made a presentation on PowerPoint, we got funded, sounds good. But if you are not walking, going to the place, it can be any concept, right? It can be anything. For example, you want to work in medical field, you have to go and see the patient how they are suffering. Unless you go and see the situation for yourself in real, you will not understand it. And then you will discover your motivation while you are on the visit. That's a simple process, it has nothing to do with education, anyone can do it. If you see all entrepreneurs, they were highly motivated, otherwise it's very hard for, you know, making people think, for example, making them to sleep, it's very hard. Second, it will be, can you share your passion with the target audience? I made a very nice pizza, I think it will sell, I think people will like it. So what should I do? I should open a pizza chain and try to sell it? Or maybe I should go and make one pizza, get the feedback. So the feedback from the people is very important. You don't try to do something which they are not, you know, immediately accepting. What they say is like behavior patterns, consumption patterns, they are changing. But first you need to understand me before you know you come to behavior and you know understanding consumption or they will happen in the future. That's secondary. First you check the need and then you'll have better grasp 
over the other things. So we need to get the feedback. We need to get the feedback about your passion from your potential audience. Then, if everyone wants to be rich, that's the biggest motivation, right? We want to be part of this rich list, that rich list. Then we'll have only hundred people who are happy. Apart from hundred magazines, magazines don't have enough space to publish the you know the names which are beyond hundred. So this is an unsustainable model of you know entrepreneurship. I know when we were starting, I was like that. Oh, I want to be in that list. I want number one, not to be top hundred. So did all my classmates. Oh, we want to be number one as well. I said we can't merge and become a single human being. So we should. We started you know looking at each other with you know these cross eyes. I want to be number one. I don't want you to be. So this is unsustainable. You know from the very beginning, this is a problem of young people especially. You have a high target and you want all, want it all yourself. That's a bad start. And then it's very important to devise a win-win situation in whatever you know business model you are uh, working on. Win-win has to be the first win has to be of your audience. What is your audience? Your customer, the final beneficiaries of your whatever startup you're doing. So these are kind of universal which can apply to anything. Then what is sattvic? What does it mean? Anyone knows sattva, tamas? Rajas, the concepts of ancient Indian philosophy. I'll give you in brief. If you are very excited about something, it is rajas working in you. It is the excitement working in you. What usually does it makes you do positive things or maybe negative things external, and usually you become more aggressive and sometimes destructive. Tamas is once you are totally introverted, everything is. Coming inside you, you think more. You don't open up to other people. Usually, it leads to depression and suicidal, self-destruction tendencies. Both of this is part of our entrepreneurship, you know, mindset. Sometimes you are very excited. This will work. This will work. You don't want to listen to anyone. Sometimes this may not work. I don't know what I have to do. You become negative. Third part is of sattva. Sattva means where you do not, uh, you know, have over excitement. You do not have over depression. You have the right motivation. If you can solve this, this motivation, this sattva factor, then you have a very high chance to be a successful entrepreneur. For example, penicillin was donated. Penicillin was a medicine, right? It was donated. There was no patent fees, no royalty taken by the inventor. Why it is a part of the need? So the motivation of the person was, I want to solve this problem. I cannot see people die. These are also entrepreneurs. Entrepreneur just doesn't mean you know only money. Then there is another uh, you know thing you not you but many people consume, which is called opium. Now the entire sattva is gone. There is no need of opium. This is still there. Maybe you can, you know, argue about the medical needs, but overall the consumption is not for positive things, right? That's also entrepreneurship. You are making money there. So how do you decide which part to take and why it is important? I'll just uh, focus on that. Can I have the next time? Okay, this will work. Okay. So sattvic is the word. This can be sattvic. Capitalism is a concept which I am working on, and sattvic entrepreneurship, sattvic business model, etc., etc., etc. Everything you do must ease the pain of the planet. If you are doing this, you will find a lot of ease in your approach towards entrepreneurship, and there will be a lot of help coming. If you are not doing this, then you will be among the people who are either you know tamasic or they are rasic. And you will find very hard going out there and sustaining yourself. Every year you want to pack up, start new, pack up, start new. It's very easy to observe. I have done consultancy for more than 15 companies. Many of uh, them had fancy MBA degrees from abroad. Many of them had to shut shop within six months, seven months. They left their high-paying careers in USA, tried to come up and set up businesses in India, but they were either too excited or too depressed. The motivation was missing. It doesn't matter, you know, where you are doing your education or etc. From if you are not solving this, you cannot be a stable entrepreneur. So I think I'll go to the next slide. 
Okay. So this is almost the last slide which I'll uh, speak about. What are your priorities? You know, we are fed a lot of yarn. Do this, make a business plan. I believe the next event is making a business plan and making a pitch, right? Go to a VC, get funding, then this, then that. We try to over-educate ourselves. Let's make it very simple. Among the leading entrepreneurs of the world, Dhirubhai Ambani, Steve Jobs, so many names. They did not have this formal education. They had their intuitions. Somehow they found their motivation. All of them were highly motivated. No matter what happens, if you are extremely tired and extremely satisfied or you know something, you will sleep. Can you find same motivation for working? It's really hard. You might find, okay, I need to work when I'm awake. I do it today, this will happen. But then, if no one is helping you, you are getting maybe negative thoughts, negative reviews. How do you sustain yourself? What will you do? You look at your degree, no, I have this degree, I need to sustain myself. It won't work. So, unless you have motivation, the right sattvic motivation I say, you will not be a stable entrepreneur. You will be dependent on luck, which may happen, may or may or may not happen, but eventually it will not, it might not be as constructive as otherwise. Alright? So sattva and motivation are very closely linked together. And if you are easing the pain of the world, what happens? You start with your skills, talent and one prototype of whatever you are doing. Skip the second part, skip the investor part, focus on the end, which is the audience, whoever is going to use it. What do they have to do? They have to make the, you have to make a first use of whatever, you know, product you are making. Whatever it is. It can be food, it can be a software, it can be a hardware, it can be anything. It can be consulting, anything. But the first use is very important. So you make your skills, you get your talent, you get your prototype, you go to the first use. Then you go back, you make your new set of skills, you make your new set of talent, you make your next prototype, where you prove your growth model. Where you know this is ready to expand now. One thing is done, one cycle is complete for one place, now it's going to go to, to the growth model. Then you need to work again, skills, talent, prototype again, and then you need to scale. This process should be your business plan. I'm talking very universal, I'm not naming you know any products. I can name, I can give you many examples, but I don't believe uh, we'll have too much time for that. But if you are going through this process, now skills are not dependent on education, talent is not dependent on education, prototype is not dependent on education. Your education should be motivating you. So you are spending two years in IIM Rautak, you must use this time to motivate you. If you can find the skills, which will be different. Imagine you want to do something in production, right? Now to know production, you need to see the factories, you need to know how people behave, you need to know how the things work which may not be possible in this environment. This environment is preparing you to be, you know, mature enough to do that. So you have to walk to that place where things are happening. Like in the previous slide I said, to find your motivation. Go there, check, talk to people, get the feedback. Then you imagine what kind of skills, which is outside the curriculum of IIM, which you will require for your own entrepreneurship journey. Then the talent. Then the prototype, you have to do one prototype. I believe in two years, all of you, all of you must be able to reach the first use stage. Do not wait, oh we have got this, I have sent application to you know, 100 VCs, don't wait for that. For the example, me, for my company, I do not accept funding. There are many pros and cons, we will not go there. Some, sometimes funding is required, sometimes it's you know, detrimental for your effort. But first use is your minimum target for your two years of you know, MBA according to me. Then investor has to come in for money and I put a question mark after legal and guidance. Because first of all, how can someone who is not motivated enough as you are for your idea guide you? He'll tell you this thing is wrong, this thing is right, he'll more or less speak like I am speaking right now. He can give you some basics of life. But unless you are digging deep into your concept and highly motivated about your concept, you do not expect the other person to really guide you. He may put you in contact with some, some people, he'll help you out, you know, maybe I know this person, you go ahead. He may bridge a few gaps, but he 
he will not add to your motivation unless you are yourself motivated. So guidance is a question mark. I don't know if you're lucky. Maybe you get a very fantastic entrepreneur, you know, a venture capitalist or someone who really feels you are doing really great. But eventually, it's not there. Legal is a weak point for most of you, unless you know the terms yourself. There's highly chance that you might, you know, go astray in dealing with the VCs. So you must know your legal terms yourself. Do not depend on the investor to dictate terms to you. Money is the only thing where I didn't put the question mark because money is required sometimes, right? Unless you're bootstrapped, you have a block model which is sustainable yourself, you may or may not require money. But that is the only, you know, thing you need to see. Whether you need money, what for you need money. Because money is a two-edged sword. It's attacking your, you know, the targets which you are uh, trying to achieve, but it's also taking a lot away from you. You will also have to listen to the investor more than you, you know, you like to maybe. So it depends on, you know, whatever motivation you have, whatever concept you have, whether you need money or not. So it's a, these are universal process which I think if you follow, you will be able to become an entrepreneur within your two years of college life. You don't have to wait, you know, after this. And if and when required is legitimate for the investors, alright? So I'll close with this. This is coming soon. What I'm doing is uh, something I don't have time for to explain. I'll take at least one hour to even scratch surface over. But one of the things which we are doing is starting a software incubator, in which we'll be funding concepts in schools, technical schools, and MBA schools. We do not make distinct distinction, you know, for what your education is. We just have to talk to you and see if you're motivated enough, if you have motivation enough. And your concept is sattvic, it's useful for people, you are not destroying yourself or others for the sake of money. Growth will come, money will come, you don't decide money, it attracts, you know, you become the magnet. Money, resources, focus on creating wealth. So we are going to focus on such concepts. Right now we have more concepts than people who can execute them. I've got few concepts which we are even executing in Europe as well, we are starting in Africa as well, in India also we are starting. There is some product which we are making which we call Planet School. All right, but this incubation, I like to you know talk to your children once you go over with your exams. I like to come again, maybe visit your classroom, speak to you one by one, and we see who are the real motivated fellow who can do this. All right, this is the email ID you can send your series if you really think you have motiva uh, enough motivation at the current moment as well. Otherwise, we'll speak more about Sattvic world which includes Sattvic economy, capitalism, Sattvic capitalism, Sattvic, Sattvic is the word. Add it to anything and you get a very sustainable ecosystem for entrepreneurs, for humanity and for everything. Thank you. <laughs> we will reserve the questions for later. Okay, uh, so I can take a couple of questions if someone has. In my company, I'm just giving you my example, alright? What happened, I found five students who were technically very good. They were in the third year, third year of engineering. I told them, why are you wasting one more year? Come out. They left in engineering. All of them, all of them now have five patents each under their belt. Five patents each. If they want to write, If they want to write PhD thesis, they can get five of them and they are not even 24 years old. Alright? So, eventually it's a call you have to take. I'm not saying that three years of engineering was useless. Or, you know, I'm not saying that your two years are, you know, grades are not important. They are good. They are meant for something. They want to convey some kind of a value addition to you. But that's not it. Right? Your motivation, your skills. If I, I just mentioned skills, talent and prototype. They are not going to come from your, you know, curriculum. 
they are going to come from you your curriculum is supposed to do the sagar mantra inside you and get the good things out so do not underestimate the two years of uh, you know your curriculum but do not overestimate also your harm in them as well the real thing is outside which you have to bring from you know insect world which is within you because i can't guess what your motivation is right the motivation may be in education may be in retail maybe you want to do something in food maybe i want to do in aviation maybe i want to settle on mars i don't know i don't want to put a you know a uh, circle around it you should be wild think what you want but be very practical work hard if you have you know sleep for 6 hours sleep for 3 hours you will enjoy it. i used to sleep in, i believe you know in my college time i used to sleep only for 3 hours for 2 years i did that eventually what happened was i unfortunately completed my engineering but uh, i could write one book as you said i could make a national record in artificial intelligence i still have that record after 10 years I won a lot of competitions but they did not mean much even competitions winning is feel good eventually i could develop talent i could develop my own skills right those are the key points i worked with a lot of you know mbas and some of them are very distracted by this whole whole curriculum and typically this whole you know startup uh, uh, steps that you make a business plan then you go and go talk to the vc which i wanted to emphasize that you don't need to focus on that so your grades are good focus on that as well but eventually if you're getting your motivation out you will also get the answer no it will come from within i don't need to tell you what is important then you know what is important right any anyone else yeah no see it is a misconception about uh, india all right we think we are religious country we think we think we were you know uh, superstitious or social in our approach social work social world was never part of indian culture we used to be always scientific so sattvik is a science is a concept of science when you are sitting and thinking either you are having tamasic rasik or sattvik thoughts or maybe you are not having any thoughts then you are going for salvation according to you know indian text but whatever indian text have scientific so sattvic is not social social is a new concept came from west you know but it has a huge amount of loss that's why you know stalin statues are not more there in, in the entire russia now social studies itself doesn't make any sense it's a scientific process whatever i'm telling you can be scientific scientifically you know calculate you can calculate and the entire process of sattvic is that you want to build something which is for the good of all then what happens your motivation and your target motivation merges then you are not alone suppose i want to force a new uh, you know like as a new pizza on all of you you may like it once but this much chance you like it twice you know there is very less chance but if i can solve something in food chain i mean the food supply chain where you know the poorest of the poor is getting food and the food is not rotting in my you know godowns like in india previously happened then i'm solving the problem everything else will follow once you are solving the pain points but the pain point cannot be i need to be rich this is the model i have developed something where you know i can make very quick money the pain points have to be real of the real audience audience first audience means a target customer maybe the entire public the pain point calculation is sattva it's not social you have to take money you take money you have to do something you do that but ultimately it should not be something of sort of opium when you are exploiting someone to get money on it should be something of a penicillin shot you may take a early i don't mind all right that gentleman did do that you can do that but the idea has have a sustainable model in place then you will be motivated there will be huge amount of people will be you know helping you to motivate yourself they will come and you know motivate you otherwise imagine you are doing opium trade imagine what kind of gangsters you have to deal with this is true motivation this is sustainable so is most of the entrepreneurs who i have seen they lose it from the very beginning because they don't get their motivation right they do not get their concept right what they want to work on i can give you thousands of failures examples here that's why people club together you know? once you get a one concept oh there must be money in it eventually anyone with big pockets will you know start opening companies in the same concept 
it happened to movie rental, it happened to car websites, anything you see. Because the motivation is, you know, something which is not uh, right. Right? So this is scientific, it's not social, it's scientific. You can make huge amount of money and your money will not disappear. It will stay and it will create wealth as well. Ultimately GDP is, you know, just see how you calcul calculate the nation's G GDP. Once you know that, you understand the, you know, the value of uh, wealth creation. It's all science. Okay? Anyone else? Sir, good afternoon, sir. Sir, last question. Yeah. Sir, uh, you have told us about the gunas that we have uh, bought from what I read and uh, from what I read from the philosophy books. No, I couldn't get to I couldn't get to You have told us about the gunas that we have, Sattva Guna, Raja Guna. So, from what I read about the gunas, they are just the states of uh, uh, being, right? They are not anything that you understand uh, as, as easily as what you understand other things. But how do I know that I am in this state? How do I know that I am in the Sattva uh, state or in the Raja state or whatever it is? How do I know if I have reached the uh, point where I am in a sacred state? For that, the first point of motivation where you have to walk and meet people and create a win-win situation, that's a process. It's not going to, you know, it's not a simple answer. And the answer is different for everyone. Your answer will not be my answer. My motivation is my motivation. So this has to be discovered. That's the challenge. I mean, that's the real challenge. All right? So you need to go, walk, talk, feel, introspect, make skills. This cycle has to be done and this two years is good enough for doing this. Right? Okay, thank you, thank you everyone. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir, for bringing a different perspective to the table. I would now request a student volunteer to present a momento to Mr. Smith. We now come to the one of the most awaited event of the evening. Just like a hero 